to Islamic belief, we have to realize that we are not in a job, but we are in a mission. That we are not just the nine to five workers, but we are servants for the people who own the organization. If we don't know who are the people who own the organization, we have to realize that there's something wrong with our induction from Islamic belief. The real honor of Islamic belief for all of us, especially myself, is the poor, the orphan, and the widows. Those are the real people whom, if you make them happy, humanity will be happy with you, and definitely the Creator will be happy with you or with us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our mission here is not just to excel on how much money we raise as fund, but how much hearts and dreams that we raise from those people that we are claimed that we are serving them. Whom we serve? We serve the people who pay our salaries. Whom we please? Who please the one who created us. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, if you want to talk about the last 10 years of Islamic relief in Canada and where you are now, you have done a lot of great achievement over the last 10 years. Started from nowhere and now are somewhere. Started from one small office, one room office with one employee and now maybe 20 or 15 or 30 employees. Started from a first year budget about less than $200,000, now to about 15 million or 16 million dollars. Your limit should not be, your actually, uh, should not be the sky. People say that sky is my limit, is that right? But you say to them, sky is your beginning. Okay, because it's where you stand in the sky to fly high to the second and third and fourth and fifth planet that nobody can reach but you can reach. So because most of you are young and I'm younger than all of you and I can challenge you because being young is not measured by the age. It's measured by the zealous activity that you carry 24-7. This is the youthhood, the spirit of dynamism in the action of the youth and young people, male and female. This is what we want to get from you, because most of the people who created society were the fuel for the creation of country and civilization were people at your age whether they are actually in different civilization, Persian, Roman, Greek, Egyptian, other Latin American organization, Chinese, you find that most of them are at your age and less. People who stood up with the Prophet وسلم, from the very beginning, the majority of them at, was at your age. And some of them were under or a, younger than your age. So what we need from you, this sleepy eyes which you're having after eating pizza should not be a character of somebody like at your age okay and leaning on the wall of tiredness and feeling fatigue should not be a character of your age okay when i stand up like this full of all the energy of the pizza so what pizza caspian pizza is caspian pizza pizza hot pizza pizza hot okay so coming back to what we need to do together, what do you want to see Islamic relief after a year or two or five or ten years? You make it. You make it. You make it. Islamic relief is a complexity of manner of individuals, values of organizations, culture of people, faith of individual in the mission of Islamic relief, direction that you create for us, or we create with you, and vision that all of us can bring together 
to help the owner of the organization, which is the poor and the needy, the orphan, and the widow. Do you know our mission? Do you know our mission? Do you know our message? What's our message? Okay. <laughs> to um, sustain and help everyone around who's needy. To alleviate poverty. To alleviate poverty. Same way. All this is a part of a message that makes you a servant of your mind. If you are a real servant, you can do all this. But if you are not servant and a disc man, sitting on a disc, or disc woman sitting on a disc, you are a dead meat for me. You don't exist. Even the poor young boy or a girl will never recognize you. Because for them, you are nothing. You are not a dollar. You are not a pound. You are not a real. You are not a dirham. You are not a euro. You are a human being that gave the spirit of aspiration to those people who are actually being deprived from all what we have, even the pizza that we have been eating today was uh, the cheapest that you can buy. They don't have it. Okay? So while we are here enjoying ourselves, we have to remember the people that we serve in Syria, in Myanmar, in North Sudan, South Sudan, in Somalia. Kenya, Afghanistan, Pakistan, everywhere. But they are what we are. And they make the success story for us. The success really comes from the field, not from Toronto. Toronto celebrate the success of the achievement of the local field workers, as well as the real owner of Islamic League, which are the poor, the needy, and the orphan. I don't want to remind you of your role because you should know it better than myself and should be able to carry the mission successfully and deliver the message which does not make any discrimination between any needy that you should help. Right? Thank you, all the best and thank you for the nice food and nice of everything. And thank you for joining our mission and be, being a, a part of a very dedicated team that will see you in a year or two making the big news. And you will make it. Inshallah.